What's up and welcome back to Nap Time Build. We're back with the Jeep. I got some parts came in, okay? If you watched the last video, we uh we got our fuel cap mounted in the way it's supposed to be, so it's not flopping around looking ridiculous. We also went ahead and cut off the uh the adjustable coilover mounts on the rear end. I had them upside down back when I first put them on. There was no more adjustability down. We flipped them over, got them back on, all that. She's a little bit lower than she was. She's not as low as I'd like her to be. But that could be because there's 450 pound springs in it, you know. I mean, that whole rear end don't weigh 450 pounds probably. And there's two 450 pound springs back there. So there ain't no, there ain't no jump of the shot or uh, spring of this with the springs. It's, it's more like a bounce and that's rigid tires bouncing off the ground. That's about it. Anyways, didn't watch it, go watch it. How about that? But we got some parts in it. I ain't even opened them all yet. This video, it's gonna be more centered on the dash and all that. We'll probably take this steering column out. That right there should be my new steering column. This is the uh, little, cause that's a Speedway column. They come with the, uh, with the three bolt mounting system and this adapts it to the six six bolt steering wheels and all that this is a marine bluetooth radio you know i gotta have my tunes these are the gauges i decided to go with this is a a speedo attack also has the uh turn signal indicators and the uh the high beam indicator and this other one here has oil pressure water temp fuel gauge and voltage meter all in it so it'd be nice to have everything in two gauges and of course I did not grab a knife. What we got here. Oh, these are two six and a half inch speakers. Which I'll probably end up having to mount in the dash somehow. As I figure something else out. Bosh right here with adapter. All right. Is flying everywhere. That's a little more difficult. One handed. All right, here we are. Yeah. There she is. There she be. Whoop, I just threw the pin out of it. How does it work? Get on there. You can tell I ain't never had one before. Look at that. Can't hold on to nothing.
Couldn't there be something in the other side of that? Oh. See, that's the three hole. Make sure it lines up. Right there. Put a bolt on there, turn that into a six bolt adapter. I just hope she ain't too long because their measurements was a little off. As I ordered a 36 inch steering shaft, but the product length on there was showing like 41. So I don't know. And that made me a little skeptical, but then I looked at like the 34 inch shaft and the 32 inch shaft. I think there was 34 and 32, but all the way down to like 30 inch shafts. They all said 41 inches on actual length. And I'm like, I mean, surely that's just like mistyped or whatever. So hopefully that is not completely wrong. I mean, we will send back if we have to, but I would really rather not have to. But that is what we're looking at. I'm not looking at installing all of this, this video. I'm just, that's what we got going on. That's the route we're headed towards. This video, like I said, is mostly determined on the, or uh, focusing on the dash. Cause like you see before I didn't have a plan of buying this new drive or a steering shaft. I cut this big old hole out right here so I could maybe possibly use some of the factory stuff off this Ford Ranger steering column. This is not the route we want to go. We've changed our mind. Okay. So, and also the original gauge in this thing was one huge gauge with a speedometer and then an it had a couple of the very, like the water temp and voltage, I think, was up there. I can't remember. It's been a while. And then the radio's all the way, holes all the way over there, and it's got all these miscellaneous holes. So my plan is that big piece on the bottom there, that, cut that off to the size I need and fit it on here and it will probably be more of a just right on the other side of this hole or something this way to maybe right on the other side of the steering column there that way we can cover the holes we don't need we can cut a lot of that out so it'll be open behind have this new panel to go up, have our holes for everything that we need, like gauges and radio, maybe speakers, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about the speakers yet, but, uh, and all that jazz. Sum it all up, we're gonna be cutting a lot of that out. Cut a new piece over there to mount on top of this dash as like a removable panel. That way it holds gauges, radio, all that. We can flip it down, put all our stuff in, wire all our stuff up, flip it back up, screw it on, and call it done, and hopefully cover up all of our unneeded holes, or you know, get rid of all of our unneeded holes and make the dash not look completely stupid. A lot of rambling, my bad. I get on a tangent every now and then, and that's just how she goes. All right, just pulled one of these speakers out of the box to get an idea. And I originally thought, you know, I got a hole right here already. I'll just put my ignition switch there. But honestly, it would be best just go ahead and putting it over there with like under the gauges or something like that, close to the radio and everything. Because I have two speakers. And I think one of them would be best to go like right here. It'll be a tight fit, but as long as we make our cuts right, we could totally make that fit. Cause this thing ain't getting no top. There's gonna be wind. I need to be able to hear the radio. Cause that's just the guy I am. I like to hear it. 
She ain't got no big she ain't got no big block and fancy exhaust or nothing. So to be listening to, so I need to hear the radio. Okay. You know, and also cover up all the squeaks and clangs that this thing will probably make going down the road. But yeah, right around in there, like I said, it'll have to be a very well cut hole. And then hopefully we can use our panel and to go right in here. All the, it'd be nice to go all the way over. Go ahead and take out where the glove box is now. Maybe have gauge, gauge, ignition, radio. All in here. Maybe have that glove box move over and then have the other speaker on the other corner. It's what I'm thinking at the moment, but you know, we ain't done nothing yet. So we'll see how that changes. And of course it just started raining, so hopefully the rain don't get too hard on that metal roof. All right, so right up under here, there is like a whole, you know, this is a whole mess of wires. Everything goes to the dash, you know, cigarette lighter, <clears throat> plugs to other things that this vehicle no longer has. And I do have a wire harness that we're eventually, once we get everything where we want it, <clears throat> we're gonna rip all the wires out of this thing and rewire it so i'm not too concerned about the wires so all these wires coming from this steering column we're probably just gonna snip them and yank this bad boy out she is she's out this is the base plate that set against the uh the floorboard firewall down there it was uh three three screws in it there's two bolts right there holding it up and honestly it would have well no that was it i was fixing to say it would have had more but you see that bar rolling right there that is just a little bit more support that it originally had, but I had to cut this side off when I put this body on there. And uh, obviously there's one bolt right there and that had a little keeper. Where is that? It's a little small one that basically, uh, it went in the top of it. And when you was trying to pull it back out from under that bolt there, it would catch on the bolt as kind of like a safety or whatever, so. Yeah, that's, that's all that took. Whoa, it's starting to thunder a little bit now. Right here, right out. 
and figure out a better mic. That, to me, that's not a good one. Yeah, that's an angle. I'll just make the camera stop again. But anyway, that's, that's about the right length and everything. It'll be fun. I could have went with a little bit shorter, I guess. I might have to figure out a different rack or joint. Let's look at this right here. Anywhere she's going in there. Man, I know it's loose and everything, but that's just just a free spinning in there. The other shaft bed or whatever. The other one was a lot bigger, so it fit in there a lot tighter. This right here. Well, I mean, you could almost fit this one inside of that. If I was a higher, more open, you could fit this one inside of that. But yeah. Hmm. I'm not above cutting couple inches of this off, wallering out the inside of that just a little bit so I can get that in there. Or, you know, beat it in there or whatever. To shove that in that keeper. I keep saying it's a keeper, but I don't, I don't know the right word, whatever. But I'm not above that. But we're not going in with the steering column just yet anyways. We were mostly just getting it out of the way and trying to get an idea of where it's gonna be at. All right, so here's what we got. Windshield laid down just for, get it out the daggum way, basically. <clears throat> and yes, I could easily take this dash panel off, but one, I don't have the metal to make the whole thing. And since I don't, I feel like it'd be easier to get an idea of where everything's going while doing it in place, so. There's that. But yeah, we're thinking about speaker here. And obviously I'll have to account for that little handle right there flipping down. Those are junk. I need to take them off, see if I can clean them up, lube them up and actually get them to fully work. Cause it'll bend this way, but this other, the locking part of it don't really work all that well. I really could just use some new ones. But as you can see, we also got a pretty jacked up mess here. If I could clean that up good enough and paint that together and weld it back together, that would be great, but not happening in this video probably. <laughs> we'll see how the dash goes. All right, so we're looking at really nothing to hook on the inside of that, I guess. Looking at about, say 45 inches from the tab there. So probably call it 46 inches by, I don't wanna, there ain't nothing. Seven, ain't nothing above seven meter. Dang damn it, there's that hole.
Well, those are right at seven. The bottom of these are right at seven. I'd like to just come up to that. But that one hole right there, well, and that one for uh, right above the glove box over there is above that seven inches. And I guess we could come over and up a little bit until we get to the inside of that, cut it down, notch it a little bit. Something like that. And what we got? Hmm. Obviously we'll cut off that hunk over there. Fifty-five and a quarter. How does going? Obviously it's tall enough. Say eighteen and six. That's no, nothing. She's out of square, of course. But that's enough metal, so. All right, so here's where we made it. Got my piece cut. I went ahead and just left it the length that it is and kind of evened it up. See, so it's just like right inside the side there. Same over there. I got it held up by a couple <clears throat> clamps right now. Got my little grooves cut out, so it's pretty much dead on. Well, it's, there's like a small little smidgen of the old dash showing which is totally fine. It's better than this hanging below it or whatever. But uh, here's where we are. We're starting off with a blank slate. You know, I bet we all would like to do that sometimes. <laughs> but with that, that's gonna be it for the day because you know, some of us gotta work for a little bit. So I gotta go in and get cleaned up. But staring columns out. We're pretty certain we can make the new steering column work for us. I'll probably just be cutting off a little bit of this right here and getting it on the end because uh, this is bigger than that on the end. So making that work, you know, do a little welding on it if I have to. But uh, got our panel cut and it fits the way we want it to, or the, <laughs> I keep saying we, the way I want it to and everything. Uh, honestly, from here, it's, I'll probably mark off on the old dash, like mark around that to see where my new dash is going to be and then go in a couple inches, cut all that out. So that will be tomorrow though and hopefully drill us a hole for our steering column to go down in and be happy. So, catch y'all tomorrow. Here we are back again. Yesterday we got that piece up that well cut and up there. And, uh, you know, just held with the clamps. Uh-oh, that UPS bagging in. But uh, I got some circles traced out. It's gonna be hard to see them though. I got faint circle here for speaker, one over there. I got a dot here for a headlight, key switch, horn button, gauge, gauge, and my radio. So other than this, I need to figure out exactly where I need to drill a hole for my steering column and what I wanna do about a makeshift glove box. All right, so I got two circles here. I started that lower one after some measurement, measuring, but I didn't account for it 
still going uphill so i went ahead and bumped it up some did another one hopefully that'll be good as i said we got these three and i went ahead and marked out a little glove box over it. it's really hard to see because i did it in pencil <clears throat> but that's what we're thinking now i guess it's time to take this back off and start doing a little cutting Now, before anybody fusses at me, yes, I cut holes with an angle grinder. And then I remembered I had a two and a half inch hole saw. That's the biggest I got. All my holes are bigger than that, okay? But after I remembered that, I drilled a couple out, or the rest of them out with the hole saw, and then used my angle grinder because it was a little bit quicker that way. But, uh, am I saying she's perfect? Absolutely not. Am I saying she's pretty? By no means. Am I saying it'll work? Absolutely. Obviously, we still have not cut out the original dash the way it needs. I kind of just wanted to see what all needs to be cut out to get out of the way, but I mean, look, them holes is ugly, but you gotta remember them holes is getting covered up. I grinded them out so they look a lot better than they did, I promise. Here's what we got. Obviously, that over there is pretty crooked. But honestly, as long as the stuff fits, and my new stuff fits in the dash without hitting any of that, that's all that matters. All right, so here's what we got. Obviously, still just held up with clamps. But I went ahead and ground down the uh, paint off the original one. Also, after a whole bunch of ups and downs, on and offs, and marking some more spots to uh, that needed to be ground. Jeez. And like I said, I know the holes ain't perfect, but you know, they get covered up, so. And uh, see what our stuff's gonna look like in the dash. You know, and hope and pray I don't hate it and this was all a big mess. And here's what we got. Obviously the steering uh, column is just shoved in the hole but it'll be set up about like it right there and probably down a little bit back a little bit further that's what we got Here's. glove box and another speaker I'm super pumped by how that turned out and it looks clean to me, I mean, you know, and it's mine, so I guess that's the only opinion that really matters. But, <laughs> but yeah, that looks awesome. Now, to pull all that back out, because it's just sitting in there. Pull all that back out, we'll clean up the original dash and the new dash, throw some primer on them, and probably call it a day, because I ain't got that much time left. Is with a couple of coats of primer on her. Let's 
Looking good, looking good. Oh, the original dash is sanded and primed. A couple coats. And that is it for the day. I gotta do a little clean up and then I gotta go clean myself up because I got work tonight. But uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow. All right, here we go. New dash installed with some self tappers. She don't look perfect. Uh, I got a couple mark points where my uh, screw kind of got away from me. But uh, I'm gonna wipe this down and just spritz it. Covering bolt heads up, because I don't really much like the look of the, uh, the bolts being shiny. So we're gonna do that. Call her done. So here's what she's looking like. I know, nothing professional. Yeah, there's a little wet paint on there covering them bow holes. And here's what she looks like with everything loosely sitting in there. You know, except for the steering column because I'm kind of working on that in the background. But that looks a million times better than before. So they're just loosely sitting in. I've not bolted them or uh, nothing like that. But that's awesome. And with that, we're calling this a wrap. That's that's kind of what I was imagining the whole time. So I'm glad we can make it happen. Eventually we gotta figure out how we're gonna make a glove box, like the inner and the door and all that. We'll figure something out. We usually do. All right, catch y'all later. Thanks for watching that time builder. Hey, hit that like button, man. Help your boy out. Hit the like button. Send me a comment. We'll talk. See y'all.